Adding your products into Unleashed has got to be one of the most important steps to setting up your inventory management system. You can either import your inventory here under the Products tab in Inventory, Products and Import Export, or add them individually in Add Product. As you can see, there's lots of ways to utilise Unleashed to create a unique product. Let's work through the Details tab. First, you have the product code and description. These are the only required fields when adding a product. Please note that the product code needs to be unique. Some tips for this are to avoid using spaces in the code or using zero or zero zero at the beginning of the code, as this is an alphanumeric field, not a number, so it won't necessarily be sequenced. If you have a series of similar products, think about using variants of the same product code. And finally, make sure that each product has a meaningful code. This could be something related to the product itself. A mix of alphanumeric is also a good option. And you can always use other basic symbols, such as dash or underscore. Let's save this product now before we make any further changes. Now we can continue with the product's details. I've set up some product groups here, but let's add another one. Now we can return to the new product and select this group. If you're connected to your accounting provider, the following fields are also displayed. Sales and cost of goods accounts. Selecting the sales account is useful if you want to track sales by product in your accounting system. Using the drop-down, select the appropriate sales account the product's sale will export to when invoiced. This will override the customer and default sales account. You can also select which account to use for your product's cost of goods, which should then be used in any sales journal for the product. This enables you to view a defined breakdown of costs in your accounting system. We can also specify our default label templates for products, sales and purchase orders, along with the label quantities for these. Record further product data in the form of attributes belonging to attribute sets. If you have assigned a default attribute set for the product group, the corresponding details will be displayed. Otherwise, select an attribute set from the available drop-down menu and the attributes that belong to it will populate fields below. If your products are due to be imported or exported internationally, you can use the International Commerce attributes to populate your product's details for use in any required commercial invoicing. To view and then use the International Commerce attributes, the International Commerce Code setting will need to be enabled in your company settings. The Units of Measure section allows you to advise the product's base unit of measure, for example, grams, each, etc. Click Add New and update the base unit of measure, including the conversion rate, pack size and barcode. This determines how the product will be stored, sold and used in production, as well as provide alternate units of measure, for example, meters, kilograms or case, that the products can be purchased in. Before allocating any base or alternate units of measure to the product, create each required unit of measure in your system settings. See our help file on creating products for further notes on adding units of measure and some workarounds if required. On the right hand side, we have some more fields worth paying attention to, starting with a summary of the product's current global inventory over here at the top. This provides a quick insight into your current stock holding whilst each header provides a quick link to a report, breaking the detail down for further review. We also have the type fields toggles, using these options to determine how the product is to be used and managed within your inventory. Starting with never diminishing. If this product will never have a stock on hand and you still wish to charge for it, for example, freight or labor, you can select this attribute. Assemble product is to be toggled on if the product is due to be built from component products in your inventory or is to be broken down and disassembled. If the product is used to build another product, toggle on Component Product. Please note that a product can be toggled on as both a component and an assembled product. If the product is no longer active, is on no open transactions and isn't to be used further, toggle on Obsolete. 
The product will still show up in historical reporting, but will not be available to search or include in further transactions. Track each individual unit and batches of the product stock by enabling serialized or batch tracked for the product. These options are only available if they're enabled in your company settings. If a product is enabled for batch tracked or as an NDP, it cannot be serialized. And if a product is enabled as serialized or as an NDP, it cannot be batch tracked. The sellable toggle must be on if you're including the product on sales orders, sales quotes, or credit notes in Unleashed. Tag your product as purchasable so that only purchasable products will be available when searching on a purchase order. And finally, the notes and reminders fields. These are nice to have to include to a product record to add further context and detail to its description. There is no limit to the number of characters that can be saved in the notes field, but please note that there is a limit of 500 characters when exporting or syncing the product's notes via an integration or API connection. Any detail added in the reminder field will pop up as a notification when the product is first added to a sales quote, order, and purchase order. Thanks for watching.